sucks. It's a four chord strike again. <laughs> How's it going, you guys? Or as I should say, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Uh, just taking a chart topper and breaking it down nice and easy style. Don't get too hard. Nice and easy. Uh, got the capo on the second fret. And we're going to use a, a whole bunch of the, the beginner starter chords that you're going to need. A little bit of rhythm. And that's it, you know, those basic chords that make up millions of pop songs. And if you want to really learn those and you're still working on it, I've got a chord and scale book and other like beginner lessons that can help you uh, progress on the guitar. I've got a link right down there. You can check it out, hit the link. You'll see what, what it's all about. I uh, really appreciate that support too. Uh, but for right now, we'll just zoom in. I'm going to break this down for you and hopefully you'll uh, have fun doing it. So here we go. All right, so this is a great, uh, you know, great beginner lesson set up for the beginner, but real easy if you, uh, to play it if you are already good and you want to learn it. Here's what we need. We need an A minor chord, C chord, so a ring finger goes to the third fret of the A string right there, then a G chord, middle finger on the third fret up, capo on, is on the second fret. And then a D chord. Check it out. Uh, we're going to go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, in between each chord. it up and by all means uh, you can improvise your rhythm and change it up Now you can also, especially during the chorus situation, every other D chord, or every D chord, or as many as you want, but I think every other is, is kind of cool, you can wrap your thumb around the second fret of the low E right there. Kind of mess around with some cool stuff uh, without a capo, and it would be uh, second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, like a power chord. But you can let those open ring out. So it's just a cool little trick that you can try. Uh, it sounds good on acoustic. And then scoot it up to the fifth fret. and then move it up to an A power chord. And now I'm not. You could still kind of get it in there. And 
and then an E major chord. Because with the capo on the second fret, that D is actually up a whole step, so it's an E. And that's also a cool second part if two guitar players are trying to do it together. Now there is some pretty intricate uh, three-part guitar stuff going on uh, in the intro, but I figure more beginners want to learn this song, so I kind of you know, figured it out for beginner style. So anyway, hope that helped. All right, that was it. Hope you got something out of it. Maybe you can add it to your uh, list of covers that you're making YouTube videos on from your bedroom. You never know. Uh, got that link down there for more guitar educational thingamajiggers, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you real soon. Take care.